Well, Sri Lanka's prospects of getting its act together and sorting out the mess we are in right now seems to have fallen on deaf ears. No one from the parliament is interested in addressing the economic crisis. However, most of them are interested in using the words economic crisis to further their sorry affairs. Right now, the country is asking for an election, so they say. But is that really the need? Even if we have this local government election, can it change the course of this country? Can it address the economic crisis and provide immediate solutions? On the contrary, it surely can create more chaos. All that the current local government election can do is to give power to perhaps the opposition, which would trigger a much needed general election and soon after a presidential. So instead of fixing this country, we will be engaging in election rhetoric and rallies for many years to come. Right now, instead of addressing the issues that we are facing, like how are we to import oil in the next few months? Can we ensure uninterrupted power supply, just like how the minister promised? Can we bring in the much needed medicine? Can we ensure that the country will not run out of food? All that is seconded to the need to grab power by a very selfish few. And you and I keep rotating in that tomfoolery and no one's there to speak on our behalf. If we weigh in the sorry state of this country's citizens right now, we have a government that says that they are trying to fix the broken system but is interested in following the blueprint the IMF has for us and that will surely break the middle class and wipe out the low income families. We have an opposition whose leader is more interested in reciting fairy tales and making promises we all know will never be kept. We have to give it to him at least, he's providing comic relief. We have a third party who thinks that they have already won. Perhaps they might actually win this time. However, they agree to whatever is needed for them to grab power. They can't, they can't taste the victory right now. Thanks to the golf face spectacle last year, to which they admitted that it was their party behind the whole theatrics of the so-called people's protest. It was actually JVP supporters' protest. Right now, they tend to think this is the time that they will come to power. And then, on the other side, a racially infused political party hoping to milk the situation to grab their dead leader's aspirations of a broken country and a separate state while the 13th Amendment. We have a certain ambassador who's going around the country hoping to uh, transfer this country into a military base. You saw secret military delegations coming into the country. More on that in a moment. Now, that ambassador is working hard for her nation as she preps for a possible showdown of a country with China. Our youth, supposed to be our future, is, well, not invested in fixing this country, at least at the moment. It doesn't seem like that they care. They're not inspired, they're not motivated, and are living a lumpen life. That is the sorry state of affairs right now. Now, to whom do we turn to fix this country? As I explained, it's not our leaders. We've done that. Perhaps, just perhaps, it's time for us to turn to ourselves. No need to fix the country. Let's start with fixing ourselves and our lives and changing our attitudes towards this nation. Every problem has a solution. So instead of focusing on the problems, let's start focusing on the solutions alone. Right now, the problems we have are solvable, fixable, and for sure correctable. It's just that you and I need to start. So let's start small. We'll be right back.